Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon was the very first Yu-Gi-Oh set that came out in March 8th, 2002. Being the first set, it's got very simple monsters and lots of vanilla monsters, but it also introduces some powerful spell cards like Pot of Greed, Monster Reborn, Raigeki, and Dark Hole. These spell cards would be a common mainstay in the metagame for most of the history of the Yu-Gi-Oh, so any of these that we get will be a plus. It also introduced, of course, the Dark Magician and the Blue-Eyes White Dragon, as well as famously the most powerful monster in the whole game, Exodia, the Forbidden One. Hello everyone and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Evolution series with me Ninjas96 and my co-host Fenton Bailey. In this series, inspired by Simo and Nimnim, -Nim, we explore Yu-Gi-Oh! today as we did growing up. This begins by opening up 24 packs, or one booster box, of Legend of Blue Eyes, and building a deck consisting only of cards we pulled in that box. Then, in each episode, Fenton and I open 24 packs of a new set, gradually developing our decks, learning with each stage how Yu-Gi-Oh! has evolved through the years, just as we did when the game first came out in 2002. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Evolution series. We are looking for 24 packs of Legend of the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Here we go, the first packs opened on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Evolution series. What do we get? Uh, Hain Hain. It's a rare. It f uh, flip effect, return one monster back to the hand. It's not bad early on. Can't complain. We're going to open 24 packs of Legend of Blue Eyes here. The OG. Cool. A fusion monster. Didn't even know you could get fusion monsters this early. Didn't even know that was a thing. Cool. Uh, our first super rare, Mystical Elf, 2000 defense, 800 attack. There are better defenders in the set that aren't super rare, but it's good that we got one at least. So it's basically just going to be finding decent monsters. Another fusion monster. Basically just finding monsters with decent stats on and some cards to support them, I suppose. Why is it all fusion monsters? Well, this is really no good. This is a useless waste of rares if I don't find a polymerization in these packs. Oh, oh, oh! Super rare Raigeki. Raigeki reads, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Oh, and a Skull Redbird. That might be our first one of those. That's handy. Uh, Raigeki is going to come in so handy in the series. I cannot overstate that. A Hain Hain. Select like one monster on the field and return it to its owner's hand. That could be okay. Ooh, a Raigeki. Nice. That'll do. That will do. Oh, and a Dark Hole. Brilliant. Brilliant. A piece of Exodia. Don't see me playing that. Stop defense actually will come in handy. There's a lot of monsters with 2000 defense that are pretty much objectively the best monsters in the set. So stop defense is a way of getting past them if we need to go on the offensive. A Fisher. If I don't get a polymerization, oh, that's another Raigeki. If I don't get polymerizations, I'm kind of uh, all my rares are kind of just going down the toilet. <sighs> more fishes, more Celtic guardians. It's crazy. Another dark hole. You love to see it. <laughs> Ultra rare left arm of the forbidden one. Great. It's a dead card. Another super rare, Manny to bug. That's that's a pretty good pickup. Uh, flip effect, destroy one monster on the field. Stop defense. That's old school, guys. Select one defense position monster on your opponent's side of the field and change it to attack position. Classic. A secret rare, Trihorned Dragon. Ah, oh, there's so many better cards that could have been. Ah, oh. so it's two tributes, eighteen fifty attack. Oh no, twenty nine fifty attack. Sorry. So it is 
it is almost as strong as a blue eyes. Uh, it is a boss monster. Are we going to be able to summon it? I doubt it. But, you know, it's worth $300. So that's that's something. Dragon Capture Jar. Okay. Another left leg of Exodia. Great. I'll just throw those in the deck for fun. Oh, a left arm of the Forbidden One. Okay, I really want Monster Reborn. I really want Monster Reborn. Nope, we got a Beaver Warrior. Okay, so this is the deck list that I've come up with. It's not very good. Um, I'm not confident. I really hope Fenton hasn't pulled well. Um, so, what we've got here is we've got the Trihorn Dragon. That's our boss monster. This is the card that if we summon it, we're happy. It does need two tributes, so it's 2850, so it beats Dark Magician. Uh, the only thing in the set it doesn't beat is the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. So, hopefully, Trihorn Dragon is the strongest thing in either of our decks. Uh, I've got the left arm of the Forbidden One in there, just so that I can flex. I want to be able to set it uh, turn one and see Dean's reactions. <laughs> um, and we've got two Skull Red Bird. We only got two, but it is the most, the strongest level four monster uh, in the set um, with 1550. Then we've got Witty Phantom with 1400, and uh, Trial of Nightmare, which is 1300. Then we've got Fire Yarrow, who's again 1300, and Lesser Dragon, who's 1200. So that's th that's our lineup of attackers, and uh, I'll explain a little bit more some of them as we go on. So then our defenders, we've got the one Mystical Elf, three Spirit of the Harp, and three Giant Soldier of Stone. Giant Soldier of Stone functions in attack mode as well, which is decent. Um, and they're just there to punish if he thinks he can attack a face down defense position monster. Monster, He can't. And they will help me, in theory, stall out the game long enough to get Trihorn Dragon on the field. Uh, then for our flip effects... I have Manny to bug. Uh, this is one of our only pieces of spot removal. So if he does have a blue eyes, uh, or a dark magician, or a Gaia, or a curse of dragon, or anything really, uh, this is one of our only ways of outing it. We've got three copies of Hain Hain. Um, again, it's a temporary out to some of his stronger monsters, and it's a tempo um, thing. It's, it's tempo. Um, we can set it when we're in the lead uh, on in terms of card advantage to stop Fenton from regaining that advantage or set it when we're falling behind in order to recuperate some momentum. Um, I put one armed ninja in just in case he does something funky with field spells and equip spells like I am. I'll get around to that. And uh, one reaper of the cards he could have Dragon Capture Jar or Two Pronged Attack. Eh. Um, my main motivation for putting it in is it's cool. That's number one. And number two, because it's got a weird number of attack and defense points. So if I contribute and set, it, A, it might throw him off. B, uh, I might be able to destroy a trap card. But C, I will almost certainly reduce his life points to a stupid number. So that's it for the monster lineup. Not happy, but it's as strong as I can make it at the moment. Uh, one Raigeki is a must. This is easily the best card in our whole deck. Two stop defense. So if he goes for the strong defensive lineup like I have, uh, I can switch them to attack and then uh, witty phantoms, anything basically can get over any of these, uh, which is always good. Um, it also can make me can make him proc one of his money to bug if he needs to, if we need to get that off the field. Uh, then we've got our field spells. So I've got Mountain, I only got one, but this will increase Skull Red Bird, Trihorn Dragon, and Lesser Dragon if we need the extra damage. Um, Follow Wind uh, is an equip spell, 300 attack points for Skull Red Bird, uh, just Skull Red Bird, but that will bring it up to 1850, which is 
much more difficult to get over. And in theory, we've got Follow Wind and Mountain. That means Skull Redbird can attack over a 2,000 Defender. That's why we've got that. Uh, dragon Treasure can boost my Lesser Dragons and my Trihorn Dragon. And again, that works in tandem with Mountain. I've got Dark Energy. This will allow Witty Phantom and Trial of Nightmare to get over Skull Redbirds. Uh, so that's what they're in there for. It also works on a couple of these weenies. Um, oh, and then two Yami. Let's put those up here. Uh, again, to work alongside the Fiends and uh, I guess Mystical Elf as well. Uh, it does drop Fairy Monsters, this one, and Mountain... Mountain doesn't drop any. Um, so this will work against Spirit of the Harp, but in this format it doesn't actually matter. The difference between 1800 defense and 2000 is very small. So that's why Yami's in there. We might end up having to flip between these two. Not super likely though. Uh, then we've got, for the trap, two pronged attack. Again, Regeki, Manitabug and two pronged attack are the only three removal uh, cards that I've got, so I have to play it. It's also the only trap I've got, so it's the only thing I can do in his turn, essentially. And then I've got three Hinotama and one Sparks. Um, I just figured that while we're on the defense game with seven defenders plus all of this flip flip effect action, it might come to the point where dealing some cheeky damage is the right way of doing it, and it fills some slots in the deck with something that aren't crappy monsters. So that's what they're in there for. Fingers crossed. He hasn't pulled anything insane, like Monster Reborn uh, is the one I'm most scared of. Uh, if he's got both Dark Hole and Rageki, that would be good. I've just realised I didn't get Pot of Greed, nor did I get Fisher. So that's two really important rare cards that we didn't get any of. So I'm not happy, but we're going to have to see. Let's see what happens when we go to the duel. All right. And here's the absolutely atrocious deck. I got a Raigeki and a Dark Hole, so that's nice. It's basically just monsters and uh, support cards, and then some fishers, some stop defense, just in case. Some healing cards. Uh, the forest is the field card I'm going to go with for the beast war beaver warriors and Celtic guardians and. Oh wait, Insect, Beast, Plant, and Beast Warrior Monsters. Ah, uh, well, that's fine. Uh, yeah, Green Phantom King is going to be pretty tanky with that. Well, I'd say pretty tanky, not really, but you know. Uh, beast, Plant, and Beast Warrior. Oh, and Insects, but I didn't really draw any Insects. Uh, and then just a few extra cards. I mean, I, got, I didn't really feel like I got much. There's a few warrior types in here, but I only got two legendary swords, is that right? Oh, I did actually get three. I did get three legendary swords. Um, oops. Let's just add another one. And take out... Is Fisher that good? That's the lowest attack. Like I suppose it's quite good for getting rid of defense mode monsters. Um, what's the worst card in this deck except for all of them? Probably this. Cool. Cool. There's no trap cards. There's only three trap cards in Legend of Blue Eyes as I can tell, as far as my research went. And uh, one of them's Dragon Capture Jar, one of them's Trap Hole. One of them's two pronged attack, which kind of makes the uh, three copies of remove trap that I got useless because there's only one permanent trap. But it'd be use useful to have in the future, I'm sure. Three copies of that. Um, we well, must put Mystical Moon in instead, and I don't know. Maybe I should put Mystical Moon in instead of Hinotama. That's probably a good idea, actually, because that works on the Beaver Warriors. And Hitotsumi Giants, and oh, actually, that's it. Not really worth it for five cards, is it? I'll just leave these. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, how did you find it building 
a, a deck out of just 24 Le- Legends of Blue Eyes packs? Um, difficult. It's all just <laughs> it's all just spells and monsters, right? Like, yep. There's one. Uh, let me bring up my collection. Actually, um, there's one spell card that sort of like counters traps. Oh, uh, counters like trap. traps on the field is basically useless. There's only one permanent trap that's dragon capture jar, and then every other spell is just like this type of monster gets more attack, and this or you or it's a field spell or it's a equip choose a monster and it gets more attack and defense so all i basically did is i just checked which uh monster type i had most consistency of and just did that yeah that's essentially what i've done too um how confident are you in terms of what ex- exciting super rare stuff you got uh not not confident at all no <laughs> i it, it, i'm surprised at how much filler there is in this set like and i assume that's like mostly just to do with they weren't sh- the you know they didn't know what the direction of the game was going to be or they were trying to follow the you know they were following the anime and the manga and stuff just adding cards that were in that yeah it's very cuz there's no little... rules you know they can't possibly try and implement the rules as they stand in the <laughs> manga and the anime to start with because it just makes no sense. So, no, um, they didn't hadn't found their feet yet. Clearly, definitely not. It, um, I mentioned before it's scary when you look at started at Hugi and Kaiba, which is what we started with, and like you get Monster Reborn, Change of Heart, you get oh, a boss monster, heart, yeah. you get eighteen hundred attack monsters just straight away, and this is like. You can have a spell card if you really want. <laughs> um. So, good luck. Thank you. Let's go. I don't actually know if you want to go first or second in this. Looks like we have to play rock, paper, scissors for it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it makes this that sad effect. Uh, fine, I'll go first. I'm not really sure. Okay, uh, you do get to draw for turn on your first turn. Do you have a side deck? Um, not. I don't think I do in this episode. But what's this other thing on your? So six. Oh, that's my side. that's my fusion deck. Oh, is that what that is? Sorry. Yeah. I, yeah. Same same thing, I guess. Yeah. Um. Okay. I haven't tried to use this yet, so. Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Um, it doesn't do anything it, it automatically. It is as if you're sat opposite someone playing real cards. Sure. I will... So, oh, I have to... I get to draw, do I? You do get to draw. Alright. So I draw one. Uh, and then I will... Set one. Hello? not working uh, I press set and it like outlines oh yeah the place if I can put it yeah I did it do- oh. what happened there I don't know it must have just been taking its time how strange okay uh, and then I will you're gonna have to just remind me I mean I know this is silly but I just draw one at the start of my turn right and what's my hand size? Six. If you have Six. seven or more you, in your end phase, you discard one. Okay, so that's fine then. All right, I'm literally going to do nothing else. <laughs> um, do I have to press anything, or do I oh. just tell you I'm ending my turn? Um, do you click the EP button in the middle? Oh yeah, I see that now. Cool. Okay, start turn. Draw for turn. Oh, it does my draw automatically. That's nice. Um, I'm going to start off spicy. I'm going to activate sparks. Oh no. Deal 200 points of damage to you. Oh. So I think you just type 200 in the little box in the middle. And then 
click on the minus. Yeah. Nice, nice noises. <laughs> Classic. I don't think I've got the noises on. I can hear them, but I don't think they'll be in the video. Oh, that's a shame. Um. Do I do something exciting and wish I hadn't? I think the answer is yes. I'm going to normal summon the Witty Phantom. 1400 attack fiend. And I'm going to equip it with dark energy. Ugh, uh, gross. I'm going to use a token thing. Uh, bring it up to 1700 attack. And then I'll go to battle phase. And attack. Your face down monster. And expect it to be. Do I have to do any defense? Um, so you have to flip it face up. My buttons clicking it doesn't do anything. Oh. Uh... Or maybe it will just eventually, like it did before. Let's see if I can move that in. No. Well, I can press flip myself now. Yeah. I've got an option at least. Oh, it's Fiend Reflection number two. Fiend oh, so Reflection. I do get over it. Yep. Cool. So uh, then that goes to Grave, and I will end my turn. Do I not take damage for that? Uh, not if it's in defense. Oh, it doesn't overflow, does it? No, it's only if Not it's an attack. It's... All right, cool. Yeah. All right, I'll draw. I will. Uh... Play Fisher. Oh, you got Fisher. Yeah, that's right. It's only a rare. I didn't get a single copy. Whoops. Really? Yeah, I'm not happy. Uh, and then I will. I think I'm gonna just normal summon Beaver Warrior. Hey. And uh, also uh, play the spell card, field card. Oh, okay. So that's insect, beast, plant, and beast warrior. Okay. It's not act. It's not changed its numbers, but still. No, it would just yeah. All right, and uh, I can't do anything else, can I? You can attack. I can attack even on the turn that I've summoned it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so I take it you will be attacking directly. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to move to battle phase, but the uh, end phase is the only thing that's uh, highlighted for me. Oh. Is it possible we're still in your end phase, and I've just done all of this for no reason? Could be. There we go. Oh. Oh no, I drew a card. Uh, I'll put it on the top. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Okay. So now battle phase. I see. I pressed the end directly. Phase, I kind of thought that meant it was the end phase. Hurrah! Uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> take that. <laughs> All right. Now I'm done. Okay. Start turn. There we go. I understand what's going on now. Um. Set one. Pass. Wow. Um, have stop defense. Oh no! Yeah, outplayed. So 200 IQ attack. play. It's Spirit of the Harp. Oh wow, that's a good card. I didn't get one of those spoilers, but. I think she was a rare. It's weird that there's no way on the card to just see what its rarity is, like there is in other, like Pokemon especially. Yeah. Well, it's because they get, they have been reprinted in different sets. So, um, I go to grave, and I'm taking four, five, six hundred. Ouch! That wasn't how I expected that turn to go. Um, rules question. Yep. Can I, I just, just for argument's sake, can I in my main phase too? Can I special summon a monster that's already attacked? Uh, can I sacrifice a monster for a special yeah. summon, even though the monster's already attacked? Yeah. 
I mean, I guess there's no reason to do that because a monster can attack on the turn it's played, which I always forget. All right, I'm done. Um, you have to manually send the stop defense to grave. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to set a monster again. <laughs> then my turn. <laughs> I'm hoping that's the best thing I can do. I'll play... Stop defense. Oh, End of armor for 500 damage. And uh, I guess I'll just continue the onslaught. <laughs> the beaver, beaver warrior's onslaught. Beaver beatdown. Yeah. Uh, it's actually my Manny to bug. Oh, what? So what I'm fighting your beaver warrior. And they How both dare you. Grave. Fine. It's a super rare. That's probably the best... Oh no, it's the second best card I got. Oh. Uh, normal summon the witty phantom. What? Battle phase. And attack for 14. Oh. Typing it in the chat for some reason. Fourteen hundred, that's too many. <laughs> hmm. Man, what drawing one card is not a lot, is it? No, draw economy in Yu Gi Oh is really, really stingy compared to like any other game. That's why part of greed is like the the gospel. Then... I'm going to just have to do nothing, unfortunately. Ooh. It's part of Greed in Legend of Blue Eyes. It's a rare. Okay. Which is nice, because I'm guessing that means you didn't get one. <laughs> Attack for another 14, and Ow. set one. Uh, I will reveal that I also didn't get a pot of Greed, and I was super paranoid that you would, and I'd feel really, really sad. Uh, I'm gonna play another Fisher. No! Destroy the one face up once your opponent controls, yeah. Yeah. And enter. Uh oh. Um, I'm going to normal summon the giant soldier of stone. Oh, well, that's just gross. And attack directly for 1300. Oh no. And I'm even going to set a card. And then my turn. Okay. Alright. I will play Dark Hole. Oh, gross. Oh, okay. It was Hain Hain, my face down. Oh. Uh, and then I'm going to a normal summon a beaver warrior. Yep. And I intend to attack directly. That will go through. Cool. And then I will end my turn. Come on, I need a good draw here. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Set one pass. <laughs> Um, I'll set one, Ooh. and I will have a look at what this is, I suppose. Okay, you promise you won't laugh. Is it another Mania bug? No. <laughs> Left arm. Nice. Yeah. It's playing an Exodia deck. Secretly, got all five pieces. Yeah, I actually opened two hundred and forty packs. Uh, I. Whoops, I don't know why I'm in full screen. It's, um, my collection. Oh, it's not actually called Exodia, is it? On the card, uh, it's the I got one. one left arm and two left legs in my packs. Seriously. 
Yeah. Jesus Christ. Two left legs. Crazy. I've got two right. left legs. Uh, I guess I'm done. <laughs> well, that's rough. I'm um, feeling great. I'll flip my armed ninja and uh, act obviously activate it. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so are you targeting my card or target targeting one your spell own card on the field? <laughs> yeah, so I'll target this face down card. Your face down card, please. And it's dragon treasure. Dragon treasure. Thinking about um, it, I don't think I have like any targets. Maybe one. <laughs> Uh oh. Is this going to be game? No, you can't deal 3,000 damage at once. No, that would be this. silly. You're going in for another 14, though. Okay, now I'm I didn't want to. I could have armed Ninja into attack mode, flip summoned it, I guess, but seemed unnecessarily risky to just lose 1,000 life points for no reason. Wow. That brutal. Yeah, this isn't a good hand. This is almost exactly what I expected, though. Yeah, you got to me, giant. There we go. Uh... Oh, hang on. Before I enter my battle phase, Ooh. I'll Ooh. just uh, play Rageki. Oh, come on. There we go. I drew that in my opening hand. I'm not very lucky. <sighs> okay. Game two. Ooh. That's a noise. That's a loud noise. Okay, um, I don't have a side deck, so... <laughs> Done siding. Oh yeah, I see that button now. Further siding may not be possible. Um, do, I think I want to go first. Go for it. Alright, can I have a spicy hand? Ooh, okay. I've, I've, seen some, I've seen some different cards here. I do think that my draw was incredibly lucky, though, in that first game. I thought I had a good opening hand, but I was clearly wrong. I'm feeling confident that I'll at least be able to survive a decent amount of time. <laughs> um. I can only set one monster a turn, right? Yeah. That would be silly, otherwise the game would be a bit stupid. That is genuinely what the new rules of the new anime is. Well, you can summon as many as you want. Basically, you just do what you like, as long as you can explain it. That's crazy. Well, isn't that the, the first season of the anime was that anyway? Yeah, I know, but at least they pretended to have rules. Spark! <laughs> Ow. How many is that? 200. Yeah, 200. I had one spare slot in my deck. Well, I had two, and one of them was the Exodia piece that I thought I'd play for the, the meme. <laughs> um. I can't believe you got three Exodia pieces. No, two of them were the same. Would have been nice to get the whole lot. If you got the other two, I'd have allowed you to trade your duplicate in. <laughs> I will flip this and target the one that you summoned first, the one in the middle. Okay, back to hand. Um... See, I don't know whether to go super aggressive and just start attacking you while it's early, or to wait. So, like, if I go, and I can win, and your draw is bad, and you just can't summon enough to stop me. But if I wait... Um, if, I, if I wait... My monsters aren't great, that's the thing. 
But if I wait, then I just potentially give you more of a chance to. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. The I'm gonna summon panda. this bad boy. Oh, and oh, you're going for it. So that's yeah. what fifteen hundred now. It's uh, fi yeah, a three hundred attack and defense. Yeah. Wow, fifteen hundred. I should be careful because I know that you've got a mania bug. So, ow. <laughs> well, at least it's face up, I guess. So what's that, 500? Yeah. That's okay. At least it wasn't many a bug, I suppose. Um, I'm just going to set this back. And end my turn. How many Spirit of the Harp do you want to run into? <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'll give it a go. This is actually one of my super rares that I got, and I'm really unhappy about it. It's a mystical elf. Wow, you got so much defense. Yep. That's crazy. It's exactly the same as Spirit of the Harp. I don't know why mystical elf is a super rare. That is a good question. It's a waste. I could have been a man eater bug. I mean, I got one, but I could have been a Raigeki. It's gonna have to do it for me then. Ooh, Hinotama. Oh, what is this chip damage? That was genuinely the idea behind putting all this these spell cards in the deck. I thought, well, if I'm stalling out with defenders, then yeah. suddenly, what fifteen hundred damage of Hinotama is not bad. Yep. That is my. Uh, that was my analysis as well. Uh... Oh my god! Do you know I'd love to do something else, but I can't. I'm setting up to summoning the uh, Egyptian gods. <laughs> I'll have some of this as well then. Oh. How does it feel that your first damage is with a spell card? Yeah, not great. I want to say I'm sorry, but I'm not. Oh my days. <laughs> this Beast Fangs has saved me uh, 900 life points, though. That is value. That's that two is value. Oh, I could go on the offensive. Hooray. I'm going to summon Skull Red Bird. Wow. And I'm going to equip it with Follow Wind as well, giving it an extra That's 300. Ridiculous. Now, my bird is going to peck your panda to death. And that's uh, 350 damage. You'll go. I'm not getting a start turn. Oh. Ah, there we go. See, I feel ahead, but in the back of my mind, I know you've got Dark Hole Rageki and Fisher. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. So this red, this skull red bird has eighteen fifty. That is unfortunate. It might also be the only target I have in my deck for Follow Wind, but I thought 1850 is too good to miss. Oh, when I press View Deck, I thought it would just show me what's in my deck, not actually show me it in order and then shuffle it. Sorry. Doesn't really matter. I just wanted to see what was in my deck. Just remind myself what I was waiting <laughs> on. I feel like I just cheated. Um.
gonna have to do. Ooh. So oh, actually... you're serious. Um. I'll target the Hain Hain. Um, battle phase, I'll attack over the Hain Hain. For, what, 1400? And then main phase 2, I will set the card. Uh, uh. Really play into the Rogeki. Yeah, I was going to say. Can you uh, end your turn, please? Thank you. Uh, well, I suppose this is a card. Fisher, so that destroys one face of monster. It has the lowest attack. So you can choose between Spirit of the Harp and Mystical. I, I don't. I don't care. I don't care. Get rid of one of these. I should have not played that actually. To be fair, but my hand's getting a bit full now. <laughs> You can always set it so I can flip an armed ninja next time. True. 14... Uh, 4,500. I should be alright. I should be alright for a bit. Uh, I'm going to summon Trial of Nightmare. Gross. Uh, battle. I'm going to attack with my Skull Redbird first. It's hard, hard armor. armor. Uh, and then 1300 damage. Alright, now I'm in trouble. Back in the day, I would get hard armor in literally every boost pack I ever opened. <laughs> you are on a one turn clock now. Uh -oh. Well, now. Well, uh -oh. now. Uh, are you still at 1850 and 1300? Oh. I guess I could switch the Mystical Elf to attack mode. That's the thing I could do. Harp beat down. I think I've got it. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, flip summon. Hain Hain. Oh, that's gross. Monster, monster. Oh, that's gross. Uh, switch. To attack. And then... Go, go, yeah. go, go, go! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Brutal. So, uh, I think, well, it looks like you have to press admit defeat in the bottom, because apparently being on zero life points isn't... Well, I don't admit enough. defeat, so... <laughs> oh. That's nice and jolly. <laughs> We're going to game three. Maybe I'll draw some good cards this time. <laughs> Oh, I've actually got my um, my main card that I only play one of, but because <laughs> I only got one. Right. Okay. Draw. Set one. Play red medicine. Seems strong. And that'll have to do. Draw for turn. Kinotama. Wow. At least the medicine helped against the meteors. Yeah, true. I'm going to set this one. And... No. Let's not be stupid and set random cards for fun. Uh, I'll stop defense that. Okay. It's a giant soldier of stone. 
Okay. It's still one of the highest attack uh, point totals in my deck. Ooh, I smell Beast Fangs. Beast Fangs has arrived. So that's 200? 200. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of um, early Hearthstone as well, which was just like monsters and tempo, like card advantage and stuff. It's yeah, a big swing can do a hell of a lot. Yeah, like if you hold on to. So like I had the I had the dark hole in my hand for a couple of turns before I actually used it because I wanted to get more value out of it. Like I didn't want to just play it for one, destroy yeah. one of your cards. Um, but having said that, I don't want to make the same mistake I made last time where I didn't go when I probably should have gone. Whoops, <laughs> not not set, activate, there we go. Oh, wow. So he's 1,400. 1,400. And the is 1,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will be, I, I mean, I know you've got 2,000 defense monsters, but better give it a go. Um, it's Hain Hain. Oh, okay. Or do I lose the spell? You will lose the spell. It's just whether I want to save Gross. life points or kill your panda. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will bounce the Masaki to save myself some life points. I Oof, don't do that. I feel like that's probably the right thing to do. I'll do it for me then. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? What I'm going to do, which might sound a bit bizarre, I'm going to stop defense this card. Oh. I was hoping it was a Hain Hain or a Man Eater Bug or something. <laughs> Then I think you'd yeah it's mandatory so you'd have to bounce your own card back to your hand. Really? I, uh, some of them are mandatory. Some of them are not. Uh, Hain Hain is big mandatory. I don't know about Manny to bug. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna sell one. I'll pass. Okay. I'll flip that back around. Yeah. You don't want that 500 what's, extra damage? What's, what, what phase is this? Standby phase. SP. Standby phase, right. I mean, um, certain effects. Pretty irrelevant, right? Over a standby phase. Um, sure. I'll just keep bumping into these 2,000 defense monsters that you have. What? Another Hain, one? Hain. Yeah. That's um, gross. I will target your panda. Okay, I feel a bit better now. Oh, the panda's back. Why wouldn't it be? He no I summoned one. Oh god, that's the first time I've dealt damage. Oh. <laughs> it's a slow start. Normal summon trial of nightmare. Ugh. And stab your panda through a coffin for 100 damage. And then I'll end my turn.
Is Fisher the lowest attack as well? Yeah. I guess that's another good reason to keep this Phantom King on the field in a defense mode. Yeah. Ooh. Because if I don't lose it through fights, then yeah. Urabi. Yeah. I don't think I've got any of them. Okay, I'm going for it. Regeki. Oh, rude. Objectively the best card I got. Uh, then Skull Redbird and Mountain. Let's bring him up to 1750. Come Mountain is Dragon, Winged Beast and Thunder Monsters for some reason. Yeah, Thunder Mountains. It makes me so anxious that I know you've got Dark Horror Geki Fisher. And that. Okay, we're going for it. Giant Soldier Stone. Ah, uh, okay. Um, attack over with the Skull Red Bird. Masaki. Oh, yeah. And then 1300 with my big rock boy. Uh, set one. Get rid of your field spell. Last turn. <laughs> um, normal summon Skull Red Bird number two. Oof. And I'll attack. Haha. -ha. Uh, oh, Seventeen hundred defense. defense. As well. Ugh. Um, just for reference, um, we're playing by the rules of the time. That's why we're drawing for first turn and field spells replace each other. Uh, what? So... Field spells not replace each other anymore? No. I don't know when they... Whoops. I don't know when they why changed it. Why wouldn't they? That seems silly. Because um, there's so many cards or decks that just need a field spell. I think it would be too powerful to just be able to drop a dead field spell to counteract. True. Um, that's, what got... they did with, that's what they did with that's what they did with currents in uh, Netrunner. Oh yeah. <laughs> and just replaced each other, and it was just current war. Just needed a current in your deck so that you had one to replace theirs. Um, I got follow wind, which is probably oh. the best thing I could have drawn. Um, for reference, I'm equipping it to this one. Uh, then this guy is going to attack your beaver. Well, I just attack. lost. Four, fifteen. Yeah. You'll go. Dark hole? I did not draw a dark hole, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, Lajin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Uh, well, I don't see any reason not to just go for it. Yeah, it was nothing. Yeah. Wow. Super dependent on draw order, isn't it? Currently, uh, just the fact that I had follow wind that turn. If I didn't, then I honestly don't know that I would have found anything. I'd have found money to buy um, in four turns. Yeah. I didn't realise that 1550 was the highest you could get. Although I did have two Eurobees for 15. But I didn't... I just put those in because they were high attack numbers. Yeah. Oh, I better uh, do the thing. 
<laughs> um, I got a little jingle. Um, so you got Exodia. Yeah. You got um, Ragaki Dark Hole. Yep. Anything else exciting? No, that was honestly it. Ooh. I got two Celtic Guardians, which I didn't oh. even draw once. Didn't draw a single copy in any of the games. So that would have been nice, because I could have had a 1700 monster there with the yeah, that's not bad. swords, maybe. Um, Sorry, I'm just pulling out all of I actually the pulled rares. two Dark Holes, but obviously limited to one. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, I, I drew get... three fishes. I pulled three fishes. There were three fishes in my deck. I got zero. And apart from, I've got Manny to bug. Yeah. Hain Hain, technically, but it doesn't destroy. And no, I got one of them. Uh, two pronged attack is the only other card I have to kill a monster. So if you summon Blue Eyes, Raigeki, Manny to bug, or two pronged attack. I only had one decent five star or above monster, which uh, was. Um, uh, Succubus Knight, and even oh, that. That's what, 1650? 1650, 1300. Yeah. So the only reason I, I put that in because it was a warrior. Um, so I could have made it 1950 with the sword. But I got, so I'm running one. Still only had two star. copies of Legendary Sword. Um, I don't know. I got this. And I thought I'd play it just because it's got stupid attack numbers, and I thought it would be irritating. It's such a terrible card. <laughs> um, and I also thirteen eighty nineteen thirty. Wow. Uh, this was my my best card, Tri Horned Dragon. Oh yeah, I pulled one of them, but I, it just seemed absolutely useless to actually try and get it to work. If you're drawing one card a turn. Yeah, two tributes is a really heavy price. Uh, it's ridiculous. But I felt like I needed a big, something big in my deck to just slap down. But I didn't get to play him. And I probably never will, because he's going to come out as soon as I get the opportunity. <laughs> um, So, that was Legend of Blue Eyes. Very Awful. slow. <laughs> um, next set is Metal Raiders. Which really ramps up the speed. Well, not necessarily the speed, but the there's just more effects. Basically, there's Sangan, which the Black Forest, to search stuff out, all sorts. Um, and we agreed that the winner, me, would <laughs> open five more packs of Legend of Blue Eyes uh, for use in the next episode, and the loser would open three packs of Legend of Blue Eyes. So you still have a chance to pull the rest of Exodia. Oh. Uh, that would be extremely lucky. What else? Oh, Monster Reborn. Yeah, that would be nice. Heavy Storm. No, I think that's a lighter stat. Mm, I might do that now if it's ones. only three. Yeah, go for it. Oh, wait, how do I do three? Oh, I'd I picked... can't. You can select five, so I just picked five and only opened the first three is the only way I can think of doing it. Fair enough. Alright. Flip cards. Uh, I got a final flame, which I didn't have before. Oh, yay. Seems pretty pointless. Another beast fangs. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was good. Alright, add pack to collection. Open another set. Got another armed ninja. Oh, a sort of skull red bird. I got vile germs, which I hadn't seen yet. That's the plant. Plant equip. one, yeah. That's pointless. <laughs> oh, yeah. Carbon carbonara warrior. <laughs> Sp spaghetti carbonara warrior. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Evolution series. There is a Patreon down in the link below. Uh, that is not a requirement. I would like zero pressure, but if you would like to contribute towards making this series, 
there are, the option is available to you. Uh, in addition, there's a link to Fenton's channel and to this playlist where you can watch the rest of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. Uh, make sure you do subscribe if you want to see it. I plan to release them every week, maybe every two weeks. We'll see how that goes. But thank you, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.